Good day to you all and welcome to my channel that shares the very latest in semiconductor developments. Kindly like, share and subscribe to the channel. Let's dive right into today's topic that I've prepared for you guys. Today's topic uh, centers on Huawei's intention to start manufacturing their own HBM memory chips. HBM stands for high bandwidth memory. Huawei, the renowned Chinese tech company, is reportedly making strides in setting up domestic production of high bandwidth memory chips. This strategic move is seen as an attempt to circumvent the constraint it faces in the artificial intelligence and high performance computing domains due to US sanctions. It is understood that Huawei is supporting a China based DRAM manufacturer in the development of HBM. More specifically, Huawei is backing the production of HBM2 memory in China, which lags behind the current HBM3 E Shine board. However, this is a significant step as it will help the company overcome the restrictions in the AI and HPC sectors imposed by the US sanctions. It is worth noting that high memory bandwidth is crucial for performance, regardless of a company's computing power. Low bandwidth results in limited performance, a fact that Huawei seems to have grasped well. While the high bandwidth memory chips are not directly under the US export restrictions, they are produced using American chip technology, which Huawei is prohibited from accessing. Furthermore, Huawei is reportedly forming a consortium backed by the Chinese government. This consortium includes a significant number of Chinese semiconductor companies, including Fujian Jinhua Integrated Circuit, a China-based memory maker, and advanced chip packaging specialized. Huawei aims to start mass production of HBM2 memory chips by 2026, which will enhance the readiness of, a of its ascent series of processors for AI applications. Currently, SMIC, a state-owned Chinese semiconductor foundry, might be capable of manufacturing these high-bandwidth memory chips. However, it's evident that the limited availability is hindering Huawei's progress in the AI and HPC sectors. I hope you found that read quite eye-opening. Kindly like, share, and subscribe to the channel to continue receiving the very latest in semiconductor news. I thank you.